So we're, we're just coming to the end of the Byron phase. The, the 1.4 release is the, really the final, final milestone of the, one, of the, um, of the Byron phase. Uh, and there's, there's quite a number of, of improvements in there, uh, which I think a lot of users will be very pleased to see. Uh, there's a number of improvements to the robustness, both of, of Daedalus, the front end, and, and the node back end. Um, there's a significant uh, improvement to the use of disk space, uh, which a lot of people were having problems with. And a number of issues to do with connecting to the network and synchronizing. Um, quite a few issues there have been, have been resolved. Um, so this should be quite an important uh, release that I think you know, users will, uh, will notice uh, improvements. One actually very, from my point of view, very interesting and significant thing that's in, that's in this release is that this is the, the first release where we're including one of the components that we have written using this kind of semi-formal uh, methods approach that I keep talking about in all my videos. Um, you know, designing things from specifications, and this is so. This is the first release where um, you know a, a significant component, the back end of the wallet, that we uh, started writing uh, using this method, is now um, ready and it's being included in this release. And so, part of the improvements to do with robustness and quality uh, that we will see is, is to do with that—the fact that we are replacing the the wallet back end with this this this, uh, this component that's been rewritten in this much more. Um, formal approach uh, using this development style that that I keep telling everybody that we're doing and we are actually doing it and now now this is the first release where we, we've been able to deliver uh, you know a component following that style. There, there are some other things that, that come out in this release that uh, will not be noticeable directly to users but will be noticeable to for example our exchange partners uh, and again to do with the, the, the wallet backend um, there's a massive improvement in the quality of input selection for uh, for exchanges that have very, very large wallets, uh, which we, we wrote a blog post about separately, um, and a number of other um, scale performance improvements that the exchanges will notice um, that will be much, much better for them, for them using the wallet, um, that users won't immediately notice those things. So after Byron, what's next is the Shelley release, and so the Shelley release means decentralization. That's, that's the, the primary, primary purpose of, of the Shelley release. And the, the target, our, our goal for that is, is the end of Q1 next year. Um, now, this, the, so obviously decentralization, you know, we've been working on that um, for a long time already. Uh, we've already published two papers, two academic uh, papers, um, one on, on the incentives, that's how does state pool work, state pools work, the game theory behind that, and another paper on the cryptography of exactly how does delegation really work. Um, so that now that we've really done the design phase, uh, we've been moving, more recently, we've been moving uh, in the last couple of months into a much more detailed phase of, of the formally specifying all this stuff. And now this is now all following the, the approach, uh, the methods, these sort of semi-formal, lightweight formal methods that, uh, that I keep talking about in all, my, all the videos that I do. Um, we are following exactly that approach now for these new features, for the delegation and the other features that are coming out in the, in the, in the Shelley release. Um, and that, to me, is, is quite exciting. I'm, I'm glad that uh, you know, we're, we're able to do that. We, we demonstrated that we can do that as part of the um, as part of the 1.4 release that the, we're, we have, as I mentioned a moment ago, the, the wallet backend, which has been developed in, in this style using this semi-formal uh, development approach. And we're now following exactly the same approach for, for all of these new features um, for the Shelley release. And so what does that mean? That means the, the ledger layer, what are the rules exactly of, of delegation and the incentives mechanism that you know, come out of the papers, but how exactly do we express those and implement those? So that's, that's one part of the system. Another part is Ouroboros. Now, uh, as I'm sure you all know, Ouroboros is you know, the, the actual underlying blockchain layer, the proof of stake um, blockchain protocol that, that underlies Cardano. Um, the current version of Cardano uses what we now call Ouroboros Classic, um, but the researchers you know, who, who invented uh, Ouroboros, they haven't stopped. They've been working on, on new, new versions, new iterations of, the, of their design. And so for the Shelley release, we are also implementing um, you know, the latest version of, of Ouroboros. We're taking you know, their, la their latest paper and we're, we're going through this semi-formal development process to turn it from you know, high-level specification in the paper into, into working code and put it into production. So um, that's another important component of the system. And then networking as well is another important part to make, to make the system properly decentralized. So putting it all together, you know, we have 
a lot of you know new components that make up or features that make up decentralization and for all of them we are to one degree or another uh, following this semi-formal development approach and you'll see outputs from that as we go along um, you know we have already you know our, our, our drafts of the formal rules for the ledger uh, for decentralization and some of the features actually that come later after that um, so we will be publishing those as, as we go along and um, yes it, it should be fairly exciting um, I'm, I'm very pleased that we're able to you know, really put this stuff into action and, uh, and do that for, for, the, for this next big release.